Violent clashes drove these students to take cover, now trapped for days. One of them shows us their shelter in a faculty basement. They have limited supplies and are unable to leave for help. A student has been killed and we can't move his corpse. Another student has a serious injury. The situation is dire and we need intervention as soon as possible. And as he calls for help, gunfire rings out. All across the capital, confrontations between the army and paramilitary rapid support forces have engulfed the city in smoke. The two strongest armed forces in the country, head to head. But days on, it's still unclear what gains have been made as the battle for power spreads from the streets to social media. This state broadcast shared to the Armed Forces Facebook has soldiers yelling where are the rapid support forces to the sound of victorious music. Videos uploaded by the rapid support forces showed their officer claiming control of the state broadcaster's offices and the state airport in the northern city of Meadowy. We got on a call with the army chief and de facto head of state. Okay, the head of the army is currently calling us back. Will you go to the negotiation table for the stability of the country? It's possible, he says. If negotiations will restore the country and are fair, then it's possible. I ask him about the presidents who have offered to fly in to mediate talks. He says the current climate of clashes isn't suitable to welcome them. Pleas for peace continue to pour in from across the international community. The immediate uh, future lies in the hands of the generals who are engaged in this fight, and we call upon them to uh, put peace first, to bring an end to uh, the fighting. With a closed airspace, internationally led peace talks are currently off the table. For now, millions are trapped, waiting for a resolution that feels more distant than ever. Yusril Baghir, Sky News.